it's almost three. Those were better times. I was so young back then. My future seemed so bright. I remember following my dreams. I remember a promising career. I remember being happy. If I could turn back time, what would I do differently? I know. I know exactly what I should have done. I shouldn't have gotten involved with that case. With that girl. Pursuing her was the right thing to do. But if I hadn't involved myself with her, I'd still have a career. The peak of my career as an investigative journalist. That's when I heard about a murder at the local high school. The police had no leads. I decided to investigate it myself. I tried to be a hero. And that was the worst mistake of my life. Because I couldn't work around the school, I used to gather information by interviewing students outside of the school gate when they entered or left the school. It was at this point in time that I noticed a peculiar girl who was quite obviously stalking one of her seniors. I decided to keep my eye on her, and before long, I began to observe some disturbing behavior from her. I didn't want to believe that a schoolgirl would actually commit murder just to keep a boy single, but the evidence was staring me straight in the face. That's when I learned a crucial piece of information. The girl who was murdered at the beginning of the school year had a crush on the same boy that was being stalked. The final piece of the puzzle had fallen into place. I knew that I had found the culprit. I went to the police with my findings. It took a lot of talking, but I was eventually able to convince them to take the girl into custody. That manipulative little schoolgirl put on the best act I've ever seen. She cried nonstop, feigned ignorance at every opportunity, and had an excuse for every accusation leveled at her. The court fell in love with her. The media fell in love with her. The entire damn nation fell in love with her. The day the judge declared her innocent, the entire country celebrated like it was a damn home. After the trial, I tried to escape the press by hiding in an alley behind the courthouse. Only one person found me there. It wasn't a journalist or a reporter. It was the girl that had just been declared innocent. I'll never forget her face that day. She was smiling, but her eyes were blank, empty, soulless, like a doll's eyes. She looked like she didn't have a single ounce of humanity in her entire body. With that smiling face, she said to me, It would be very easy to make your death look like a suicide. Don't ever cross me again. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be back. I don't know if I'll be back. I don't know if she's going to cross oceans to hunt her prey. If she is, I'll try to lure her into a trap, try to expose her true nature in front of the police. It's my only hope. Stay safe.